Y lo decimos de la mano de Jesús. During this week's visit to Mexico, Pope Francis urged young people to resist the lure of easy money from drug dealers. He spoke during a mass in part of the country ravaged by cartel-related violence. Filmmaker Matthew Heineman spent nearly a year in this same region for his newest movie. He embedded himself with a vigilante group working to stop a murderous drug cartel. Heinemann's movie, Cartel Land, is nominated for an Oscar and has just received a prestigious George Polk Award for documentary film. The director joins us now. Matt, good morning. Thanks for having me. I don't want to say unprecedented access. You had scary access. How did you get in so close? You know, there's been so much coverage of the drug wars in, in, in media. It's been, in many ways, been glorified in, in movies and in TV shows. And I really wanted to put a human face to this subject. I don't want to talk about it from the outside. You know, I wanted to be right in the middle of the action. And so, um, you know, I, I reached out to the leaders of these two vigilante groups, um, gained their trust. You know, and I spent a lot of time down there. I was, I was down in, in Mitchell Khan for almost nine months, one to two weeks of every month. Um, and your initial plan was to just be quick, get in, do this, and get out. Yeah, you know, I thought I'd be down there for one or two weeks, and one or two weeks turned into nine months. You know, at first I thought it was this very simple story of good versus evil, of everyday citizens rising up against the cartel, and then slowly over time, these lines between good and evil became, you know, ever more blurry. Yeah, because you 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 suggest in the film uh, toward the end that that in fact w what looked to be the good guys, uh, a group of, of Mexicans who create their own essential militia group to to uh, patrol the area, that that they in fact get sort of infected. Yeah, you know, I think unfortunately what we what we see in the film without giving away the end, end of the movie is you know those who are fighting against evil start to become evil yeah. and you know the, the sort of corrosive you know uh, effects of power mm -hmm. um, and they created this power vacuum and within this power vacuum different forces started to come in and tried to take over there's such a genuine distrust of government also I mean which is interesting because in some ways it helps you understand the narrative more so of the people involved yeah you know when I first stepped foot in Mexico I was really struck by the suffering of, of, of mm -hmm. the people down there you know living in this lawless world in a world in which government institutions have failed you know that's why this movement rose up is because you know the government was failing to provide basic safety and security and, and you know allowing the cartels to operate with impunity you also look at an American, an American militia group on, on this side of the border in Arizona. What sort of similarities did you see between the two? So, you know, at the heart of this movie are these two men, the leaders of these two groups, uh, Tim Naylor Foley on the U.S. side and El Doctor Jose Manuel Morales on the, on the Mexican side. They're both 55 years old. They both believe that the government has failed them. They both have, quote unquote, taken the law into their own hands to fight for what they believe in. But the circumstances are quite different. Yeah. In Mexico, you know, the violence is visceral. It's real. 100, you know, 100,000 plus people killed since 2007. 25,000 plus people disappeared since 2007. Whereas in Arizona, that violence is not happening. You know, it's much more of a fear that these Mexican drug wars will seep their way across our border. How did you stay sort of detached? Because there are some scenes in this movie, like you're watching somebody get interrogated by gunpoint. And I think as a journalist, there must have been some impulses like, should I get involved? Should I intervene? Should I record this? I mean, that must have been tricky territory for you. It was an absolutely terrifying film to make. You know, I'm not a war reporter. I've never been in any situation like this before, but the film led me into, you know, some pretty intense situations. Shootouts between the vigilante members and the cartel, you know, meth labs in the dark desert night, uh, places of torture, places that I never could have ever imagined being in. You know, there's one scene in which I'm in the back of a car as a man is getting interrogated at gunpoint with a gun to his head. Um, you know, as a human being, all you want to do is, is stop and grab that gun and, and stop the madness. But, you know, my job was not there to police. Um, frankly, that have been, you know, dangerous and stupid to, you know, intervene and, and broken all sorts of journalistic lines as well. You know, my job was to document, and I felt a huge duty and a huge obligation to do so. One of the Mexican subjects in the film ultimately says, you can't stop the cartel. You, do you come to believe that's true? You know, I, I think, unfortunately, 
this cycle will continue, and, and that's, you know, we see that very vividly in this film. You know, I, I wish I had a different answer to that question, uh, but, you know, I think the elephant in the room is, Amer you know, America's voracious appetite for drugs. Yeah. It's basic economics. As long as there's a demand for drugs here, there'll be a supply of drugs come from Mexico and South America, and with that, the violence, you know, and it's more complicated than that, obviously. Yeah. You know, it's, it's failed, uh, decades of failed policy on the U.S. side, guns and money that we're sending south, um, you know, corrupt government institutions in Mexico. Um, but at the, at the basis of all this is America's appetite for drugs. It's really a thought-provoking film. I can see why it's winning so many awards. Matthew, thank you so much. Good luck at the Oscars. Yeah, the Oscar-nominated movie Cartel Land is now available on iTunes.